You are watching Tech Confessions. Created by Amy Lewis and brought to you by VMware. So welcome to Tech Confessions. Thank you for inviting me. So we're here to find out when your software defined moment was. When you really started thinking about software and startup instead of hardware, what was your inspiration? Well, we have to go way back to uh, 2008. Two, 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 program kind of appropriate. Yeah, yeah. Appropriate. <laughs> Um, we had an IT departmental uh, get together and we had three people invited from our solutions provider and they started talking about virtualization or virtualizing our hardware. And um, so that was like a little, little light bulb going off in my head. And uh, fast forward 10 years and we're dabbling our feet in NSX. And of the three men that initially came to visit, two of them are working for VMware. Oh my goodness, so it really was sort of like, wow, this is where the future is. Exactly, absolutely. And what do you do to stay in tune with it? How do you dig into it? How do you learn more to, to stay on top of those trends? What are some of the methods you use? Well, since 2008, I've been going to VMworld Europe regularly, mm -hmm. so that is a big bonus, because mm -hmm. uh, everybody is there. Mm -hmm. um, and of course, going to the VMware user group meetings here in the Netherlands, which is one of the biggest in the, in the world. It's incredible. We're, we're here, there, <laughs> and yes. it's, it's amazing, the yep. amount of people. It is. And uh, other than that, um, just keep in touch with our VMware people, um, reading blogs, uh, reading Twitter messages, and all that sort of thing, and try and update and get educated. So if we had if we had set this to any time, we're in the DeLorean, we're, we're mm -hmm. going back to the future. What, where do you think technology will be, based on your experience, based mm -hmm. on what the trends you see, what do you think our next trend is going to be? Where are we going? Oh, um, I'm not really a trend watcher. I'm usually a little bit behind because I'm... Solving I'm real problems. <laughs> trying to solve <laughs> real world problems, yeah. And especially uh, user problems, which we have a lot of. Um, I don't know, I've, if I speak for our environment, uh, we're definitely going to look more into uh, uh, software-defined networkings, um, software-defined storage, and um, a lot of, um, you know, just getting rid of our data center, getting rid of our hardware, um, looking into container technology. Um, I think that's where we are going. Well, and uh, let's take the question a little differently than if we go back in time. Mm -hmm. What problem what problem are you surprised that you solve easily now that used to be a challenge? What's something that you get a oh, lot of, but you're just not, a, pro not what, a problem anymore? What we actually have uh, some user cases where they are not very good at calculating how much storage they need. <laughs> hey, what is it? We used to say <laughs> Pepcat, is yes. that funny? <laughs> so we have, uh, we've had a couple of cases where we need to add extra, extra disk space uh, for, you, for, uh, for servers, mm -hmm. and that's a lot, lot easier with virtualized hardware yeah. than with physical hardware. Oh, I can't even imagine. Yeah. I mean, is, has that surprised you, the speed at which this moves? The speed is, is amazing, and it's actually still speeding up, mm -hmm. and I'm sometimes catching up. Mm -hmm. So I'm, uh, I'm sometimes running out of breath, <laughs> but I'm, I'm getting there, I'm getting there. That's excellent. Well, thank you so much for joining us. Well, thank you for having me. And when you're ready to make your tech confession, join us at techconfessionstheshow.com.